go. We are here to talk about one of the most anticipated Web3 games of all time, Nifty Q. I mean, Rec League, the mint is about to happen, so we had to bring the details. All right, so we're going to get into details around this allow list closing. We've got mech information that we want to get to y'all as this mint starts to go live, as the game starts to go live later in September. We've already seen beta testing rolling out for this. Influencers get, are getting involved. They're doing the PvP status. I'm looking forward to the PvP status the most. There's going to be like game modes where you can actually get in there and bet like on pink slips for your mech. So if me and you went after a gift, the winner would get the other's mech. So there's a lot of things going on with this. And yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. Yeah, you're already jumping ahead. And I didn't even know about the pink slip aspect of this where it literally winner gets all. You can stake your NFT on the line on these battles. All of this basically contributes to Rec League maybe being one of the biggest Web3 games to ever come out. So that's why we're excited to just bring you these mint details. This is gonna be short and sweet. Uh, like NiffyQ said, we'll get into more of the details around the mechs themselves. But right now, the mint, I think, uh, or the allow list closes tomorrow. Yeah, so here are the details really quick. Uh, this is from a profile tweet from Rec League. Again, they're in collaboration with Animoca Brands and Yuga Labs. Uh, but you can see allow list closes tomorrow, uh, midnight Pacific Standard. So August 15th, 1159 Pacific Standard. Uh, pre Q begins. Uh, in that morning, so or two mornings later, it looks like 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard. Mint opens 30 minutes later. It's going to be open for 24 hours. Now, the ApeCoin integration is interesting here. ApeCoin's up like 20%, maybe 15%. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. But that's because this entire Mint is going to be in the ApeCoin token. So you see 158 for the Majestic Boxes. Booster boxes are going to go for 5,000, or, or that's uh, su supply is 5,000. It's going to go for 50 ape. Uh, and we can dive into the details here as well. So that's uh, about $100, give or take, right? So about $300 for the Majestic box, if I'm getting that right, and then about $100 for the booster, uh, given that the price of apes sitting around $2 right now. Um, and that's really one of the most fascinating things about this. It's a big win for Yuga Labs, for ApeCoin, just because Animoca has so many projects that, you know, if this goes well, they could integrate Ape into a lot of other games underneath the Animoca umbrella. But this one is kind of this side-scrolling fighter game. You know, a lot of people are familiar with like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, things like this. And we haven't really seen much of that in Web3 yet. So to see a really high quality fighting game like this is super exciting. Uh, it's part of what has me really interested to follow along and, uh, and dig further into this. Um, but yeah, NiftyQ was just showing some of the mint details right there. Yeah, I'm going to go into the website one more time. So they're showing you kind of how you want to get involved in this allow list. You can see the Genesis Mint, uh, is, which is occurring again in about three days. This is kind of a live UX walkthrough. So you see the Majestic boxes, the Booster boxes. Now, importantly, you have to understand Founders boxes are going to contain a full mech. The full mech is going to allow you to actually play the game, whereas the Booster box uh, is only going to get you five parts. Uh, there are details as well that have come out recently uh, from Rec League on the actual box rarities. You can see it there. So when you first buy a Majestic box or you buy a booster box, you're essentially going to come here and it's going to be unrevealed until I believe September 14th. Uh, let me make sure I get those dates right by the end of the episode. We can definitely get those details. But you can see the Yuga claim for Board Ape Yacht Club, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, and Board Ape Kennel Clubs are essentially the most rare. Uh, and then you have the others, Legendary, Epic, Rare, Uncommon, and Commons in both the Majestic and Booster. Yeah, it's, it's a blind mint to start out with. They will be, of course, trying to get some speculation on the secondary market. So they're going to have this multiple phase rollout over a few weeks, maybe about a month or so. So when these uh, boxes first mint, I, I do believe it's completely random as far as we know. You won't know for about a week, and then you'll know the rarity of the boxes first, and then you'll get another week or two uh, for people to speculate on those, and then it will actually reveal the specific details about those mech parts that are inside the boxes. So a nice phased rollout. Again, uh, it, it'll probably be healthy and good for that secondary market to get some speculation going. 
So what you need to be doing right now, if you are interested, and again, this is not financial advice. If you are interested in taking part in this mint, you need to go to the website recleague.xyz. We actually will link that in the description for y'all. Join the allow list, which ends again in about a day. Uh, we can go through the rest of the website here. The trailer was super interesting. I originally thought the mech in the in the in like the trailer was a heavy metal i was severely let down but now i'm not that let down to be honest after getting more information here uh we can show you some game trailer pieces uh the lore was interesting gift that you like were saying hey this stuff is like popping off the page to me why was that popping off the page and why is this interesting I mean, what's really exciting about the way that they're rolling this out is that in parallel with the NFTs, with the game, with actual utility and actual game, this isn't, hey, we've got a roadmap to try and launch a game. Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. In parallel with this, they've got comic books, they've got videos. These, these are some of the comics that Q's showing right now. All of this, again, available on the website. And we're not going to go super deep on this video because it's just meant to be a high-level summary. But uh, like Q said, the website in the description will show you all of this detail if you want to dig further into the lore. They've got characters, they've got videos, they've got comic books. And I just love that there's this much to already kind of uh, sink your teeth into as the game's coming out. So again, it's, it's not like, oh, you got to wait for months and months just to get an update or some kind of comic book. It's already a lot of work and a lot of things available for you uh, to, to enjoy and learn more about this world of Rec League. So the last pit I want to get uh, involved into here, the last piece is going to be, again, harping on this information that you need for the pre-mint. There is a KYC aspect to this as well. I believe they removed the social security aspect because uh, uh, apparently if you were in the U.S., you needed to give your social security number. That's been removed, but there is a KYC process. Uh, again, August 17th is going to be pre-queue. Mint open August 17th again, and then the allow list close and snapshot is going to be later that day. Uh, so they're telling you to, again, uh, make sure you have ape coin. That's not us. That's that's going to be rec league telling you that. So not financial advice. Uh, you can see the box supplies that we just touched on. Everything that you need, we can link in the description as well. Uh, the other aspect of this GIF is when the game actually comes out, what the meta is going to be like, what parts are important, all of these different pieces that go along with launching a game with Web3 components. I'm interested in it, man. There's gonna be a lot to this, and yeah, it's gonna be a fun ride here for us as we dig in. Q, I'm very curious, are you gonna be playing this game live? Is Rec League speaking to you? Do you think that this will be something that you're gonna be doing live gameplay of? Oh, absolutely, 100%. Look, every game that we've had in the Web3 space up to this point has been PVE. Like even Dookie Dash is a Yuga Labs game that's come out, and you essentially had people competing for leaderboard spots. That was kind of PVP, but not really. As you can see, the mechs here are going to be battling. You're going to be actually taking on other people in Web3. So 100%. Like, I play games to ruin someone's day across the the, <laughs> the World Wide Web here. So that's it, it harkens back to a lot of my, like, RuneScape uh, days where you would be battling in the, the wilderness where you actually, if you died or if you got beat, had consequences that really affected you. So I'm excited for the PvP mechanic. Heck yeah. Well, that's it for this summary. Again, this was just meant to be a short, sweet overview of the upcoming Rec League game. It's got us excited. This isn't sponsored. We're just trying to bring you some of the latest, greatest updates from around Web3, crypto, and NFTs. If you enjoyed this summary, if you got anything like it, uh, if you got anything from it, please smash the like. We really appreciate it. And drop us a sub too. We're going to be doing a lot more of this. And that's it. I appreciate y'all. Yep. OVOT.